Hello, this is Marco from Dodo Racing. Today I want to give you a little update about the water to enter cooler. As many of you guys have reached out to me and asked about the progress. And today I want to show you my car and the current setup. So this is it. Currently I'm running the dual pass core. So basically what it is, the water enters this side goes all the way through the core, goes around on the back and comes back here and goes right into the pump, which is down there in the bumper. Then the water goes through the radiator and goes back inside the intercooler. What I have here is a Volkswagen radiator. It's an upgrade radiator for a Golf 3 or 4, I think. I just modified it so that the outlet is not on the front but on the side. What I will do is I will offer a radiator with similar size which bolts right up to your AC. So that will be one thing available. Last time we had the single core variant which goes up to here and accepts the stock throttle body. It was good, it was working fine, but for this power level it was not enough. It's good for maybe 300, 350 horsepower, so for every one of you with the stock internals on an IS, it will be perfect. It's just taking out the Y pipe and putting in the core. For everyone else who wants a little bit more, this will be the setup to go the dual pass variant. Of course, uh, the final product will be one single core and the water will pass through here and go back here because this is a prototype. It's just uh, welded together. What I have here is a 74 millimeter Bosch drive by wire. What I found out is it's getting pretty hot so I had to make a heat shield for it. If you want to use your driver wire for the idle, it needs to be closed loop idle because the throttle body gets really hot on summer days and you will get false readings. So either you need to run a IACV or your throttle body needs to be in closed loop. So most people think uh, water to anti coolers are pretty complicated. I agree if your car is already boosted and has like air to air intercooler. But if you're coming from a stock natural aspirated car, this is much easier. You just need to replace the Y pipe, run some hoses, install the pump and the radiator. The radiator is much thinner. You don't need to cut anything up. The hoses are thin and flexible. You can just pull them wherever you want. It's much, much easier. You don't have to relocate things. You don't need a new intake. You don't need to relocate your power steering. You don't need to relocate your washer fluid. Usually you have the, the, the washer tank down there and you have to relocate it. It's much, much easier. So with this setup, now I'm on 30 PSI of boost on E85. It holds up great. On normal cruising, you have 10 degrees above ambient temp and on wide open throttle you have around 20 to 25 degrees plus so it's working pretty good so let's talk a bit about the control strategy what i do is i'll i have the pump running all the time and when my coolant temperature is at 50 degrees celsius I will run the fan on the first stage. Let's talk about some changes I still want to do on this setup. Of course, is locate these evenly. The filler cap will be on this side because it's the highest point. We have a slight angle on the intercooler, as you can see. Then what I really want to do is I want to do some kind of quick release mechanism because if you have the single core variant, you can just 
pull the throttle body to access your coils. But with the dual pass variant, you see you have to pull off the whole intercooler, which isn't that bad because you just need to remove the hose from your throttle and remove all the bolts. And you can just pick it up and put it on the side and leave the hose connected. But still, it's, it's pretty hard to access, especially the one bolt down here. And there's another one down there. So I am planning to do some kind of quick release mechanism, which can be taken off in another minute. 